Yeah, Cuomo. Oh. Cuomo was here today, I heard. Yeah, so Cuomo was here today. Um, he went to Veggie Island and um, sort of got the red carpet treatment. And there was, uh, he had a whole little thing with like waiting for Hummers, or like there was a, a, a army Hummer like waiting for him to like unload some water. And then, you know, the whole thing turned to a press uh, photo op. And it was just disgusting. And I think a lot of folks are starting to see who the real people are and you know, who the real like grassroots organizations are versus those ones that like just want to take the money and like just want to you know be in bed with the politicians who are like we're not here you know and and so what um, we need to start asking the politicians like straight up front like where were you you know where's all this money going you know why did you allow like the Rockaway pipeline to pass like as, like as this community was like going through this problem like why did we allow this to happen like right under our noses so so these are questions that we can't we cannot just allow like politicians to come and do a little photo op you know what I'm saying and yeah. just like and just pretend like they're doing something this is like it's completely unacceptable so you well, know will you tell us a little some people don't know about the Rockaway pipeline tell us a little bit about that if you know yeah I mean the Rockaway pipeline was essentially like uh, something that was passed and snuck underneath our feet and actually Jessica she's got this whole spiel on it. So you Rockaway pipeline. Our lovely Congress just snuck the Rockaway pipeline literally under the noses of the Rockaways and all of the rest of America while we didn't have power or light or energy and no one could see the news or hear what was happening they snuck that crap under here. Everyone is out here talking about sustainable development and getting renewable energy and they're gonna stick a freaking crack gas pipeline under the crumbling infrastructure that we have out here. It's like it's the most horrifying thing ever. And what I, are the dangers involved in I'm, this I'm getting pipeline. there. <laughs> I'm getting there. Do it. So, this pipeline, first of all, is going to bring frack gas from upstate New York and Pennsylvania and all the other places. Putting an infrastructure for frack gas is going to make them want to frack more. What do you do when you frack gas? You put millions of gallons of fresh water and thousands of pounds of toxic chemicals into the ground. Half of that, actually two-thirds of it, never comes back up. The other 40% that stays above ground, we don't know what to do with. We have no way to process it. Plus, the gas that's going to come from the Marcellus Shale is highly radioactive. It is anywhere from 20 to 120 times more radioactive than the gas we're getting right now. So it has massive amounts of radon in it. It leaves behind particulate matter that's radioactive. And they're going to ship that crap straight into your kitchens, into your stoves, into your heating units. All of that is going to be radioactive. Radon is the leading cause of lung cancer in non-smokers throughout the world. This is like the most disastrous thing you could ever do. And they're sneaking this in literally under people's noses, under people's houses, while everyone here is talking about how do we make a safe, clean, renewable future. We could build wind turbines out there, right out there. I learned this from Mark Jacobson last night. If we put wind turbines offshore out there, we can cut winds by up to 30 miles per hour. That will almost eliminate the need for a seawall. And we'll power the rockaways. And we'll power everything else. And instead, the corrupt government is shoving this stuff down our down our mouths, down our throats, and we can't do anything about it right now. While at the same time, they're neglecting to take care of people's basic needs. Exactly. They're not dealing with anything in reality, and they're sneaking all this stuff behind our backs. And we need to stop it, and we need to get the president to veto it, and we need to stop it, because it's probably going to go through the Senate too. Because we're here literally rebuilding and fighting for the lives of the community here, and they're doing it while our backs are turned, because we have things that we have to do for tomorrow, for today. And this is like a little bit down the line, and so people can't focus there yet. All right, Governor Cuomo, it's your job to protect the people of this country and of this state in particular, and you have to step up and protect the people of New York. You have to ban fracking, you have to prevent all of these fossil fuel dependencies that we're going forward with, and you have to invest in the green economy, because we can put all the people in the Rockaways back to work building a sustainable future, learning about green energy, building those things, operating those things. Like, there's so much to be done, and that's going to create local jobs. We can then have local energy. We have to stop our dependence on fossil fuels. It's time to end these pipelines that are coming in from every direction to strangle New York, the Spectra, the Rockaway up in the Bronx. They stopped it in Canada. They stopped it in Puerto Rico. Nobody wants these pipelines. What we want is we want wind and solar and other renewable energies that can happen. Look at there's like very few tall buildings. We can throw solar up all over this island. We can put those wind turbines right off the coast. We can protect the Rockaways and we can power it. How, how hard is that? It's so easy.